Hello everyone. Let's learn about interior of a set. Let capital X be a topological space. A be the subset of X. Then the union of all open sets contained in A, which is very important. Contained in A is called the interior of A and is denoted by a interior c here a this is a symbol sometimes we write interior of a or we can write i capital interior of a thus if a uh, family g lambda where lambda belongs to index set which is a family of all open sets contained in the set capital a then interior of a is equal to c here by the definition union of all open sets this is a family of all open sets right so we need union of all open sets so see the open sets are in the form of g lambda provided this lambda belongs to index set this is the definition of interior of a whenever you are getting the definition of interior of a set capital a where set a be the subset of a topological space capital x we have one important property of this so let's learn that theorem let capital x be a topological space then a interior is an open set for any subset a of x second property a interior is always the subset of a itself again for any subset a of x and the third property a interior is always the largest open set contained in a one of our previous video contains the property of closure in that we have studied a closure is the smallest closed set containing a see here whenever you are uh, studying about interior then interior will be the largest open set contained in a in closure it will be containing a and in interior it will be contained in a okay uh, for example if we consider any open set say b then b will be the subset of a interior itself whenever b be the open set b be an open set contained in a okay this we prove in um, this topic and a subset a of x is an open set if and only if a interior equal to a which is also very important property of interior we learn all these properties one by one with proof let's prove the first one we need to prove that a interior is an open set for any subset a of x i think uh, this we can prove by the definition of interior itself right as we know the definition says that the union of all open sets contained in a is the interior of a see here union of open sets we are considering as we know union of open set is again open set so interior will be open set itself okay let's write by definition a interior is nothing but union of g lambda where lambda belongs to index set since g lambda is an open set for each lambda belongs to index set and union of open set is open set therefore union of g lambda where lambda belongs to index set is an open set this union of g lambda is nothing but a interior so a interior is open set this we needed to prove which is in the first part let's learn 
the next property that is a interior is always the subset of a which is also one of the important property of interior let's prove this as we know g lambda is always the subset of a for each lambda belongs to index set this is by the definition therefore union of g lambda where lambda belongs to index set is always the subset of a itself because this is for each lambda for each implies you can write uh, for union also therefore union of g lambda is a interior this will be the subset of a hence a interior is the subset of A and see here A interior is an open set so A will also open set. Okay, okay let's learn the third property um, that is A interior is the largest open set contained in A. We consider B be any open set contained in A. Then B belongs to C here which is open set so we consider the family uh, family also con contains B because which is one of the member uh, so that it will become open set so G lambda where lambda belongs to index set that is B belongs to C here all family contains B implies union of G lambda also contains B right union of G lambda that is B will be the subset of union of G lambda is nothing but A interior. So, whenever you consider one of the open set contained in A, let's say B, then also A interior will be the largest one. So, whenever you are considering any open set contained in A, that will be the smallest one compared to A interior. Thus, we can tell that A interior is the largest open set contained in A. Let's learn the next part that is fourth rule. A be an open set if and only if A interior equal to A, right? That is the fourth one. That is we have uh, two parts here. If uh, I am writing the statement, if A is open, then A interior will be equal to A. This is the first part. Again, in the second part, we prove if A interior equal to A, then A is open set. Okay. So, let's prove the first part, direct part. Let us consider A be an open set. To prove A interior equal to A. As we know, A is always the subset of A. That is, A is an open set. See here, given that A is an open set, right? A is an open set contained in A. Therefore, we can write A belongs to G lambda, where lambda belongs to index set, which is an open set. This is a family of all open sets. So, we can write. Therefore, we can write A is the subset of union of G lambda where lambda belongs to index set. Also, G lambda is the subset of A for each lambda belongs to index set. So, we can write union of G lambda is the subset of A where lambda belongs to index set. That is, A is the subset of from this okay union of g lambda where lambda belongs to index set is the subset of a which implies union of g lambda is equal to a union of g lambda is nothing but a interior so interior equal to a this is the first part let's prove the converse part for this we need to consider a equal to A interior or A interior equal to A to prove A is an open set. I think which is very easy since A interior is an open set. This is by the definition. Therefore, whenever A interior is open set and A interior equal to A, A is an open set. This, this proves the result. Okay, let's learn some more concept in our next video.